All right, I put the pump in gear on engine one. Come back here. I'm going to come to this top sentry control panel. I'm going to hit the green button. I'm going to set it on pressure. So that brings me these green numbers here. That's my discharge pressure is in orange. My pump setting pressure is right there in green. The, the one underneath it is the intake pressure. Right now, since I'm not uh, pumping from hydrant, I'm just pumping from the booster tank on the truck itself. I have the tank to pump valve open here, and I've got the tank circulate valve open. So I'm just circulating through the pump. Now I look up here and I want to increase that pressure. Down below, there is a throttle. I turn the throttle clockwise. As I'm turning it clockwise, the green numbers are going up. I'm going to run it up to, uh, let's run it up to 105 PSI. It's a little hard for me to get there. About 105 PSI, and it'll increase the pressure of the pump until it gets there. About the same. Now, I can hit preset. This, this button right here is the preset. We put a little tag next to it. Hit preset. I think it's preset at 150. So it'll pump it up to 150. And that's what our normal lines are set for. Now, the ultra view below it here, there is a home button, which is what it's on. It says fire call. I hit that fire call button in the middle and it brings up selections. Notice I have car fire, grass fire, house fire, relay pump, all valves. Let's say we're in a house fire. I hit the house fire button, it gives me discharges, upper and upper discharge, lower discharge, um, upper cross lay, lower cross lay, and the master discharge. Normally we'd, we'd be using the cross lays, which are right here. There's the upper cross lay and there's the lower cross lay on the truck. Those will come out either side. So now by opening these valves, say I wanted to open the lower cross lay, I can touch that green button here and it'll open it up or I can slowly open it by hitting the tackle button on the side that's next to it. So I can choose one or the other to do that with. I'm not gonna do it now because obviously it's not pulled out, right? I hit home, fire call, for relay pumping, which is what we were doing training today with, when we were on hydrant. I have the four inch discharge here is the one I'm gonna run. I can hit this button and open it up. Um, it'll go from, from uh, red to orange right here until it's fully open and then it gives me green right here. So those control that. If I wanna go back and select different, different valves, I can hit the home button again. Again, the throttle is run down here. If I turn it down, I turn the pressure down. Turn it up, I turn the pressure up. So pretty simple. These uh, lights here, that's my tank water level left as it says those lights will go down as they decrease the water and change colors and then the foam level next to that down here I have a foam gauge and we'll talk about how to run that later on there are manual valves on this truck I have a manual discharge here two and a half and discharge number one which is the one right below it is a manual Discharge 2 is a manual. That way, if anything electronic fails, we can still use this truck manually. The intake valves on this truck, if I'm going to come from this side, those are uh, valves I have to open with a switch. Notice that it turns that crank. There's a valve inside behind this panel that's opening and closing. When I get the green light, it's fully open. I close it now. Orange indicates it's in the closing process. Red means it's fully closed. Also, if it doesn't work, you can do it manually by turning it right here too. Notice right, when I turn that, you know, by turning it, I can open and close it manually too. So electrically again, if it's not working, I can do that. So.
hopefully this will help you.